You are now listening to or watching the It Takes All Kinds podcast. Yeah, and if you aren't, you can head over to Apple Podcasts or Spotify and listen to us now, or head on over to Drib on YouTube and watch the video version as well. And if you'd like to stay up to date on when we're releasing a new episode or any other fun information about the podcast, you can give us a follow on Instagram at It Takes All Kinds Podcast and on Twitter at ITAC Podcast. That's I T A K Podcast. Without saying much else, we hope you enjoy this episode. Oh, it's so quiet. Hold on, I'm gonna crank. I'm gonna do a little crank on this. I'm a sucker for horns. You sucker for horns. I'm a sucker for horns. What's up, hey. horn sucker? Yeah, what's up? So, what is this episode 102? What is this? What is this? A crossover episode? Uh, so <laughs> this is uh, I tack. I 102. We're recording this. February 15th, day after Valentine's Day, and recording the and you'll be hearing this and you'll re, and you'll be hearing this on Friday, February 17th. And you'll be hearing and you'll us. be and then there's and when it it went What's up, buddy? Not much. <coughs> Not much. Having a lot of fun. I heard you're a tired man, is that true? Yeah. Uh I had to I had to do a lot of writing. I, I had to do. I had to do. I have to do some more writing too, and just <laughs> I want to be done. I want to break. I want to break. break. It a good good one. You get it, man. Wake into good one. You know that school. That that school's a dead end. Yeah, that school. That school's gonna get you. It comes up. Uh, it comes out from under you. It'll <laughs> beat you. It'll beat you. It'll eat you like it. It'll eat you like Audrey too. So Carson, what's up, Bosh? Well, well, I couldn't go. Couldn't go to your Super Bowl party. What yeah. was what what was what what was it, man? Man, you missed out on a banger of a party, dude. It was me, your brother, and Spencer. It was quite the banger. It was good, man. It was just a little chillax thing. Uh, your brother bought brought buffalo chicken dip, which is funny because I was it. your I assume so. There was no way Sean would have made that. Uh, what are you trying to say? Well. Uh, but it was funny because I was going to make that too. So now I have a pan of buffalo chicken dip in my refrigerator that I'm trying to get. That I'm trying to choke down. Uh, it was good, man. But um, enough about the party. Let's talk about the actual game. Let's talk about the actual the big game. game. Let's talk about the bit. Let's talk about it. You want to play the game? First off, if you don't know, the Super Bowl is a football game. No, if you don't know, uh, we live in the Red Kingdom over here. Red Kingdom. I am a Chiefs fan. Red Kingdom. I don't know if I would say Gavin is or not. I'm eh. not going to speak for him. No, I'd say I'd say I'm a Chiefs fan. I'm saying uh, at least for this game. At least for this game, I was a Chiefs fan. Let me put it that way. I was very excited during this game. Because technically, like I think I mentioned this last week, they Red. Are- they are the Red King. Um, they are our hometown team now that we don't have the Rams We don't have anymore. no hometown team no we more. We don't have no old team anymore. So obviously, I was rooting for them. And I personally, I watched the whole game. I watched everything. Locked on the screen. I thought it was a good game. I thought so too. Uh, I, my dad said it was his. It was the best. Um, the the best first half of football in a Super really? Bowl he's ever watched. That's that's your dad's pretty critical too, so that actually yeah, means it, something. Yeah, it was, and that's a compliment. That's that's not, a compliment because uh, there's a lot of bad football that like of a couple years, like a few years ago, like four or five years ago, there was that stinker bowl where it was like yep. the Patriots versus the Rams, yep. and it was just like nine to three as the final score. Mm-hmm. A horrible, fucking horrible game. I feel like even the 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 game where the Chiefs lost. To Tampa Bay was a bad game yeah, too. Yeah, that, that it was, was just a bad game boring. Too. Yeah, but this game was like actually enjoyable. Now I think it would have sucked if I was a, a fan of the Eagles because how many fumbles and turn like stuff like yeah, that would have dumb mistakes they also just made. That would have made me on so defense, upset. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially on those two touchdowns in the second half right. that the that the Chiefs scored. That is uh, that's something. I was loving it, man. Yeah, I thought it was so much fun. I was very excited, and like the juju got open so many times. Travis Kelsey got open a lot yep. of times. Like it was just, 
it was going exactly the way I thought it was. Whenever um, I was on break, whenever uh, Mahomes got his ankle injured on that play. Oh yeah. And uh, one of the, I remember we were sitting in the, I was sitting in the break room and I was just like, fuck. <laughs> right. I was Me like, too. I, but then all my friends were uh, my friends in our group chat that we have, who we, who I played fantasy football with. Um, they. I was like, it's a comeback. I'm like, it's comeback season. He's going to come back right. and he's going to play like the best football he's ever played in his life. Right. Cause he doesn't have to worry about like, you know, saving it for anything. This yeah, is it. This, this is, it, is what yeah. he needs to save it yeah, for. Yeah. He can, he can take the off. He can take the season off after this. Right. Yeah. It, I, I loved it, man. But there were so many someones on Twitter and everything afterwards. Cause I, you know, I, I went on Twitter after and everybody was like, fucking stupid game. What a dumb yeah. game. And I think we're now at the point where people, who don't need to hate the Chiefs hate the Chiefs now because they've yeah. been in it so yeah. many times, which I love because now I get that feeling of like your team being in the big thing, yeah. the big game, yeah. is something you like because I hated the Bucks, I hated the, the Patriots, Patriots, yeah, because they were in it all the time, also for other reasons, but uh, yeah, I I finally got that feeling of like, oh, this is annoying that you guys hate on this so yeah. much, like it's just stupid. Now it's I. So weird. Uh, I just forgot like how like um, programmatic it is. It's very. Yeah. I'm glad that after each kickoff, they didn't immediately go to commercial because they do that whenever it's like a regional game. Right. They'll do they'll do a kickoff and then they'll do like a 30 second timeout. Mm-hmm. And instead, they just did like analysis and like talked about stuff instead during that because, you know, they probably want to go to commercial then. But they're like, right. we gotta save the good commercial. We gotta save the commercials for the for the longer breaks. So would you say it's scripted? I would say I would say it was pretty is pretty darn scripted as far as it goes. Oh, not the, the not production the, is the production is yeah. very scripted and very. Uh, I mean, that I can't imagine all the stuff that goes into it, especially how fast <laughs> they did. I uh, got off the Rihanna set, got it on and mm-hmm. off. Like I did, I felt like that was minutes. It was. I think they literally said it took four minutes to get the That's stage. That's insane. Off, which is crazy because that like. For me, that I'm was like, in a wow, full that, field length. Yeah, and I'm like, wow, that's so crazy. And then I'm like. Okay, but they're hoisting her and a bunch of these people up on these things. And those probably go back up, but yeah. still it's like and you're doing all that so quick, like that yeah. just seems dangerous yeah. in a way, but OSHA, please. <sighs> call the ocean. But uh, speaking of commercials, enough uh, anything else about the game you wanted to mention? Uh, this field was very slippery. Um, it will grass real grass. yeah i guess so but like Did you see the video of them like that they would take it out every yeah, day to yeah. give it sunlight yeah what a waste of fucking money and time and time i mean at least people are getting paid to be there to do that but like probably not. what's the much. point yeah, it's so stupid why didn't they just use arizona's grass anyway uh because it needed to be real they spent like two years growing this grass and yeah. it was like shit yeah, it was. They it spent like eight hundred thousand dollars on it. It was, yeah. There was, was a lot of people slipping. Yeah, like most of the team changed their cleats at half because they right. were kept slipping. They needed to get deeper cleats. Then you get their metal spikes on. Yeah, yeah. Very fun game. I really enjoyed it. I don't care what anybody else thinks, but the commercials, Gavin. Now this is where it gets a little bit of a stinker for me. Really, I did not enjoy any commercial. I really didn't. Not I even really the flag football one where the girl was really good at flag football. I mean, it was fine, but it's just like I. But I, I also, really know, it's like, not for me. That, like those commercials are not meant for me. They're meant for. Most of these uh, commercials were kind of geared towards like older millennials and like Gen right. Xers. It's like they were like people in their forties, fifties. Right. Well, it's geared for like simple people. Yeah, simpletons. <laughs> and I mean that in the sense of like. You know, they're easily. MP- you're you're talking about NPCs. Exactly, they're easily excited about really dumb things. They they love seeing cameos of celebrities. They've never met a celebrity in their life, so they think they're aliens because they've never had a connection with these people. Right, and that's not me trying to slip in a humble brag there. Sheesh. But it, it is. It's just like. What it's have not, you met, Paul Rudd? Did you see the Flash commercial? I I missed that. I did, and Spencer was saying that Ezra Miller was still in it? Yeah, he's still in it, and he's okay. still doing like movie junkets for it, too, which is <laughs> fucking crazy. Is he really? Yeah. They like it, it was like a I, they gave him like an ultimatum and they're like, if you can do this and not oh and behave yourself, 
Yeah, keep 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 pushing them. Yeah. That's for yeah. sure. That's a good thing. So uh, I did uh, I did see it, but I I yeah. saw the commercial for the flag football one. I saw yeah, was the there any commercials you enjoyed? I um, mean, I'm just, I enjoyed I'm just the uh, Fox News. Um, Oh, there's so many. Yeah, the, the Gutfeld f- ones. Yeah, that one, and also the uh, Roseanne Barr commercials. Yes, those oh are my fucking god. horrible. Oh well, my god! Have you seen? Did you watch the clips of yeah, her set I've on seen, Twitter? I've seen some clips, but it was oh so. Oh my god! My pronouns are "kiss my ass." It was like she was I love a I love watching a skeleton person read a teleprompter. Right, that's all it was, and it was like that 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 was like a Ted Cruz. Anybody thing. Uh, anybody get fired recently? For being a woman? What is a woman? I'll tell you what. I'm a woman. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Just dead eyes yeah. at the camera the whole time because the teleprompter is right, right here. there. Yeah. What? Uh, what? what uh, and then like they kept promoting all these shows. They're like national, national uh, uh, wildlife hunter, you know, like yeah. stuff like that. Uh, it's just like those were great. And it was like it was like Fox Plus or something. You know, their their subscription service. And I'm I was, subscribed. That was yeah. I know you are. Uh, that was the one that. That was one that stuck out to me. Um, the dog one where they bought a second dog. It was like an Amazon commercial. I thought that this was just going to be like, um, well, also there was a Workday ro- Rockstar one too that stuck out to me. Oh. With Kiss. And they're like. What did you think of that one? I thought that was like kind of goofy. It was funny because it was like, it had old ass Ozzy Osbourne and Gene Simmons. <laughs> Yeah. And it was like, it was goofy because it's like, you're not a rock star. I'm a real rock star. Right. And it's like, oh, you're ca- everybody's calling each other a rock star. You don't even know what a real one is. Yeah. And it's just like, okay. That's there were part, this, I think there's something at the end. There was one where Ozzy Osbourne is like, they're like, they're like, hey, are you new here? And he turns around. He's like, yeah, my name's Oswald. Yeah. 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 yeah that was funny. I thought that was good. Parts of it. That yeah. Th- they peppered in a few things there. Yeah. I thought the Doritos commercial was kind of funny. The a popcorners commercial was funny. I thought the that was one? the popcorners commercial with with Jesse. Oh, it's funny because it's it's become such a meme on TikTok. Right. Like, and Aaron Paul it voices uh, voices one of the characters in BoJack Horseman, and it's and he doesn't change his voice at all. So, like, hearing him talk in mm. this commercial, I was like, "Holy shit, that's the character!" Right. Uh, it was just it's really good, but. It's someone was like, it's weird knowing that that's like the last thing we'll probably see of the Breaking Bad universe because like Vince Mc, Vince Gilligan is not d- doing it anymore. They won't be. They they won't be. But I'm. Just, it won't, I won't be. be. But eventually, well, for now, it's the last one until both of them die. Until then, it will not be the last yeah. time. I I can 100 percent guarantee that yeah. there will be a, some sort of something where it comes back or whatever. Yeah. I mean, like the fact that it came back in a fucking popcorners commercial. Yeah. Shows that it will not, it will be back yeah. again in some way. I'm sorry, sorry to say it. Uh, but the dog, the dog, when I was talking about, yeah, I thought it was gonna be a Budweiser one. commercial because there was a couple years ago where like Budweiser for a couple years in a row made like these tearjerker commercials where you <laughs> were like they've made you feel really bad and stuff like mm-hmm. that. But uh, I thought that that's what this one was gonna be like the dog was misbehaving and then they got another dog. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay. I thought the, they were just going to start crating the dog, and then they got a dog. In yeah. The crate, and I thought, I was like, oh, okay, okay. But I, thought that was, I thought that was kind of like. I was like, what is this? My, like, fucked up brain was like, what the fuck? Yeah, okay. I was like, I was like, this dog is already, like, not getting the attention it needs, and you're getting a second dog? Right. Okay. Um, there was one that popped into my head. Uh, the 2B TV one. Yeah. People were freaking out about because they're like, I thought I stepped on the remote. Well, I have a little, I have a little, little tidbit from the party about that. What's that? So that commercial came on, and we were all the three of us, me, your brother, and Spencer were all sitting on the couch. So I was in, I was on one corner, and Spencer was here, and then Sean was on the other corner, and the remote was literally sitting right next to me. I knew exactly what was happening in that commercial somehow, and as soon as it started happening, they both like got off their phone and looked at the screen and were like, what? And I was like, okay, who has the remote? Even though it's sitting right next to me. I was like, okay, who has it? And they're like, oh, I don't. And I was like, well, then what's going on? And then they and then they realized that it was sitting right next to me. But it, like they fell for it. And I was like, got to be smart. I, I was watching it on uh, on our work computer. On an analog <laughs> on, TV. No. On like a, just like a 
tiny display, basically. So you, I mean, there was, there was no way you didn't know what was going on. No, I knew that. what was going on, but I was like, I wasn't going to fall for it because we were on right. a computer. Right, right, that's what I mean. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay, this is funny, I guess. I bet I do know that that got people. I know it got yeah, those two, but like, I'm sure it got way more people. Yeah. Um, sure. Did you see the reactions of afterwards the game? Some of the Eagles fans, uh, like destroying their TVs. Oh, I saw one that yeah. was fake, and I was yeah. like, "That one looked uh, fake, like he got in the guy's face and stuff like that." Yeah. Uh, so that was the only. It's one this I saw, destroying really. TVs thing. I understand that TVs are like you know basically a commodity cheap. now and cheap, but like f- for like that, yeah. I wouldn't want to be known around the internet. I mean, not that anybody would be right. like, oh, that guy was in the... He was one of the angry guys in the TV. Right. There's so many of those, you know, but I mean, like, I wouldn't want that clip of me to go viral. No, but people also make pranks in the hood, yeah. gone wrong videos and want to get known for that. So people want different things than you and I, Gavin. Yeah, I guess you're right. Un- I guess unfortunately. You're right. Um, but I thought... Uh, I, I didn't think they were, they were bad, but I was just like, they weren't... As good as they used to be, I don't think. I remember in middle school they were like really good. Like well, I remember I think we it just used to, to hit different when we were younger. We yeah, were simpler back. Then. Yeah, and also it's just like yeah, I'm just so jaded to the idea of advertising. Yeah, well, exactly. Oh, well, and the Jesus exactly. commercials. Yeah, yes, he gets I was going to mention. Yeah. That. yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were. Uh, I I remember reading an article that was like warning: these Jesus commercials are not meant to. You know, these Jesus commercials are supposed to like. They're they're coming from a place that of not good people. Like the people who run uh, those ads. Well, like, duh. Yeah. If anybody has that much money to put up six plus of of different but same Jesus commercials yeah. on the Super Bowl, they're not to be trusted. <laughs> I can promise <laughs> you that. Especially with Jesus. Right. I mean, none of the th- commercials you see are are there's people behind it that you probably shouldn't trust yeah. in any way. Yeah. But yet we still buy products because See, I thought we belong the, in America. I thought that the Amazon one, I thought that was just going to be an ad for a ring camera to like put a ring camera inside your house so you can monitor what the dog does. Oh, I thought that yeah, that's yeah. what that was going towards. And then there was actually a ring commercial of like the CEO and it's like, I protect my home with ring. I don't remember that one. It, really? exactly, it was a very boring commercial, but it's just like, I protect my home with ring. And it's like, ring has helped things like this happen. Things like this prevent from happening like someone breaking into a door and stuff like that i didn't see any crypto commercials there was i think there was one official crypto commercial but it was basically just like be safe when you invest in crypto oh you know what i did see was a it was like a free nft uh commercial where it's like scan the tv now to get a free digital whatever or whatever something like that and spencer was gonna do it and then he didn't for some reason but the, yeah well, like it's just uh, nobody was gonna sign on to do a crypto commercial anymore because because of yeah. Well, because like Shaq and Larry David got fucking sued. Kim Kardashian got sued. Kim Kardashian oh, actually did? did lose, but but I know that Larry David and Shaq both got sued for like appearing in a commercial about crypto. Wait, what? what, what it was what? FTX. He was part of the like Larry David's oh, commercial was was, was basically him being skeptical the entire commercial and never buying it. Right. But it was it's a very labor, Larry David esque thing to be charged with being skeptical of <laughs> right. of being something and yet getting paid for it. So Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah, I mean I, I'm glad there weren't that many crypto commercials in it. Oh, thank it, God. That's yeah. all I was thinking it was gonna be. I honestly was like, it's going to be that and nothing else the whole the whole time. But surprisingly, Would you rather have crypto commercials or these commercials? These, I guess, because they're Generic. There wasn't it was a very generic that, yeah. uh, Super Bowl ad. And I think that was the thing. It was just like there wasn't anything that was like, I mean, there were ones that were like real cringy and there were, the other ones were just like, okay, that was fine. Like, oh, the, the one, that, another one that was like the binky. binky. The binky dad. <laughs> binky I dad. promise that was a thing. There was like mm. this guy, he was like going to a meeting with this, with his wife and his baby, and the baby, she's like, "Oh, did you grab the binky?" And then, like, they're like, "He's gotta grab the binky," and like, they're like, "Oh, there he is, Binky Dad!" And like, they let him like drive a Kia or something like that, like off road and so like that. Uh, Must have been in the bathroom. For yeah, that. but it was dad. like Binky Dad. Look it up. It's not a great commercial. That was that was kind of a cringy commercial, and like, mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, okay, <laughs> cool." Yeah, I was like, yeah, "I relate." What was your favorite celebrity you saw on the commercials? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. I don't think there were any that I Mr. Beast. Was he on one? 
Yeah, dude. He was in the flag football one. Really? For like mm, two seconds. I didn't even see that. They ran by him and he was like, oh, I missed it because he was going to film it on his phone. That was it. Oh, I missed that part then. She ran by him and he was like, oh, dang it, I missed it. No, I didn't. I missed it too. <sighs> Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. I'm a big Mr. Beast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big head. I'm a big head. Um, moving on from the commercials, Gavin, halftime. Uh, Rihanna comes out. Beep, bump. What do you think? Uh, Did you get to watch that? Well, first I missed of all, the first like quarter of it. I walked in and she was doing Umbrella. Skirt. Let's stop for a second. What was your Super Bowl experience like? I was in the IV room for most for most of it because I don't think we set that up. You were in the IV room. Yeah, I was in the working. IV. I was working. How were you watching it? My my coworker had an NFL Plus, and they don't have that blocked on our website, so. It was com- there was no medicine that was coming through, so like we had nothing to do because they're all the people. They didn't I, I, need any no, pain I'm pills. not even kidding. I don't <laughs> think that anybody was anybody was doing any work like during right. those four hours. People didn't need pain pills because they got to watch three hours of the uh, best, best game, game on turf. Yeah, greatest game on turf. On yeah. grass on turf. So uh, you guys just you were able to like. Yeah, I was straight up just watching it. Right. I basically I was yeah, like I, I was like you. kind of paranoid. I was like, am I missing something? Like right. Nothing was printing out. No, like. Obviously, pharmacists were probably verifying things, but none of it was going towards the IV room. So I was like, "Oh, okay." I mean, right. If they're not going to say anything back for me to make, I'm not. I can't make anything. So right. So you were watching on a computer screen. Yeah. Okay. So that was your watching experience. Yeah. Much like different a than twenty-seven mine. inch screen. Very nice. small. Yeah. So that was your experience. Okay. Yeah. So there was no way I was going to find anybody to cover that shift either. Oh, yeah, absolutely no, no way. No big deal. You didn't miss out on much. Uh, besides, Spencer had like. Spencer's twenty one. He had like a uh he got oh it made it made me laugh and reminded me of something. He got that ginormous thirty two ounce can of Miller High Life. Oh yeah. Or oh I you know what it wasn't because you had banquet that was the one that made yeah. you puke. Yeah. I think this was just Miller High Life, but it was just the stupidest big can, and I kept saying it was this gallon of beer. It was just so <sighs> stupid, and he like that was all he could really drink. Gross. But yeah. Uh, I don't know where that came from or why I said it. But, yeah, um, he drank that. And then, okay, so back to Rihanna, everybody's favorite musician. What did you think of it? You So you said I you came d- in I at guess the I, end? No, I came in, like, the first the first half. I, I came okay. in. Uh, I missed it because I, like, uh, was getting back into the every room and it takes, like, 10 minutes to get back in, in uh, correct attire for it. You got to wash all the way up to your elbows. And, you know, oh, right, right, right. Um, I missed like the first quarter of it, and uh, I I'm surprised I knew as many. Around. I don't I don't I don't listen to pop music like at all R and B anything like Same. I don't listen to anything anything, anything <laughs> I don't listen to anything I don't listen to anything outside of like what I want to listen to. So like if I if there's something like I know some Rihanna songs just through passively listening of like right. you know pop song like right. pop culture you know I but um umbrella you know i think i think she did a great job with the songs i think uh the choreography was really neat um but i obviously she couldn't go do flip turns and upside downs and stuff like that because no why not because she was pregnant carson she was pregnant but news to me but uh i guess she did that show for free yeah i don't i didn't know that until afterwards i saw a tweet that was like yeah rihanna did this for free so anybody who values i think you saw the same tweet Mm -hmm. but it was like anybody who values uh Whoever says that they don't value ex- exposure, then rethink your. It's like, yeah, but dude, she's a fucking billionaire. She owns Fenty, right? And it's also like that. That is the stupidest logic, literally ever. She's because married everybody to ASAP. Should or, get fucking is she married paid. to ASAP Rocky? No. Well, ASAP Rocky is also pretty off, pretty well off too. Right, but so. still, it's like, it's also like that's just such stupid logic. And it was, it was. I think it was New York Times that put that out. I don't. Yeah. I'm not trying to do a slam piece here. So if I'm wrong, I don't know who it was, but it was like no. It no, was like it's they're, not the same thing at yeah, all. Yeah, it's just stupid. It, but even if it's that's just, just like volunteer you time, be paid. and right. yeah, it's it's you're just volunteering your time. You should be paid for that kind of. It's thing. It's just American logic. Yeah, With, it, that's just like that is just American logic. Yeah. It's like, especially in the industry that I work in, to make it about myself if I can. Yeah, the like the film industry, and and I haven't. Thankfully, I've not had any bad experiences like this. Yet, yet, it, no, seriously, yet. But like, there are so many 
people I've heard of that are like willing to trade time for exposure. Right. Or they're like, hey, you can come work on this Hollywood set and we'll, you know, you won't get paid anything, but at least you'll get to meet all these people. But it's like really you get there and it's like you don't talk to anybody because you bring get, coffee. To yeah. The or you'll get kicked off the set. Yeah. Exactly. Like PAs get paid dirt, trash, nothing. And I'll eventually be a PA at some point because that is just unfortunately sometimes the totem pole you have to climb. So I probably will at some point be a PA. For a, a shoot, you have to sign an NDA while you're in, or your PA or whatever. Well, I'm gonna break it. But yeah, I mean, it's just like, yeah, I, I I hate it so much because it's like, I get the, you you know, there are certain circumstances where you can go from nothing to like having a big job or a yeah, big yeah. position. Absolutely. But I just hate this like. Well, you're not really anything, like, so we're like, not going to pay you like much. Like indebted to me, and then right. th- then also those people kind of come back, and not that I not that I know this, but I can imagine some of them coming back and be like, "Hey, I remember whenever you know I you you I let you come on the set for exposure, uh, and now you don't want to work with me." Yeah, you know right. what I mean, like that Something type of like stuff, that. you know. So like, it's total BS uh, that yeah. anybody would push that after the Super Bowl after Rihanna did that. But right, and it's not even it's not I'm, even to set a fucking precedent. It was just right. like she didn't need the fucking you know two hundred fifty million or whatever they're gonna pay her. Right. I hope that the chore- uh, choreographers, you know, the dancers got <laughs> paid. I hope those so. people got paid. The crew, I hope they got paid. Too, yeah, so. I think. I, I know the crew got paid because they are part of a union. That's what I was gonna. Uh, say. I do know that. I was gonna say that, but I wasn't for sure. So I'm glad you knew that. Um, I saw a couple of TikToks of some of the dancers, uh, like outside the stadium after huh. the show was over. They were still in costumes. They're still dancing. <laughs> they were still in costumes, and I'm um, not kidding. They were still dancing, not to the songs, but right. They were still dancing. They were still playing Rihanna. Yeah, they were paid I'm by law too. Um, so real quick, and then we'll move on from Super Bowl. My, if I can, oh don't mean, to be, don't mean to be a Debbie Downer. Oh my God. My opinion. On the Super Bowl halftime show, not that it means literally anything, is I Carson's a true patriot, by the way. That's I am, and I didn't like all the provocative dance moves she was doing when she was grabbing her hoo ha and her shaking her tootsie pop. I was not in there. Um, shaking her tootsie pop—that's <laughs> something new. Her, her tootsie hole. Yeah, there you go. Um, that just means butthole. That's not like it was a made-up thing I made up. It's not. I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Um. Uh, 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 sorry. You didn't think you liked it. I, 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 okay. baseline, what do so, you think? I, I'm going to say something the and then I'm going to come back to it. So I don't want oh you to think god. I'm just, I don't, oh my god, you don't need to do it. This isn't a hit piece on me either. Um, I, I was kind of bored. I, I, I didn't, I didn't really, it was a faster than a normal, I thought. I did think that too. I, I was just kind of like, and again, I'm not, I'm not the target demographic. That, like you said, I'm not a pop music fan. It's not my kind of music. I, I don't mind Rihanna's music. And I thought their performance was good, but I just thought it was a little like, okay. It was a little, I mean, you could probably describe it as lackluster, but. Yeah. And and so, and here's a couple things. And I'm going to, and again, I'm going to come oh back. To, I'm going to come back to it in a second. So it's going to, it's it's going to. It's going to bite me in my ass. It's going to maybe sound bad at first, but uh, trust me, I'm I'm going to, I know what I'm doing here. I I was a little m- m- kind of like, okay, I wish there was like, you know, I wish she brought somebody else out. I wish she brought out another, you know, musician or something. And I was just kind of like, I was just like, yeah, I just, I was just kind of bored. And then after I kind of let that, that, that um, sit with me for a while after and, and sit in that kind of like, I didn't think that was that great. And then I went on Twitter and like expecting to just see everybody being like, what the fuck was that? That sucked. Instead, I saw an outpouring of love for this, for and this you're performance. And you like, God, fuck off. Well, because, well, I was just like, I was like, what, what did I miss? I'm like, I'm so confused at what I missed. But I think there was like a, a, first of all, the pregnancy thing. Yeah. I missed that completely. And that, I had, that would also I, make I sense of why there wasn't suspicion, much movement. But I thought she was, I, I, because, and maybe this will sound mean. I don't think it will. But Spencer was like, Spen- I think it was Spencer was like, oh, is she pregnant? And I'm like, no, she just had a baby. So maybe it was just like, you know, extra weight on after having a kid. That's what I thought. And then I find out later, oh, she's pregnant. And that was like her announcing it. 
which uh, is very cool and also makes sense of why she wasn't moving around a lot and why the camera was kind of more static a lot of the times. Yeah. So that made me go, okay, I understand that a little bit more. But then getting back to the, like, the, well, why wasn't there anybody else she brought out? Like, what was that about? Like, because usually it's, like, a big deal that they bring out all these, like, other artists. And it's, like, that's kind of a fun part of it. But I think that after thinking about it more, I was, like, I actually feel like that's really cool that she didn't because I feel like it's, like, an empowerment thing of, like. That was all about her. Right. And that was was kind of the whole theme of it is, like, all these people are dressed in all white and she's in red and, like, she's the center yeah focus of it and she doesn't need anybody else to like help Absolutely prop not. her up yeah and i thought that part of it like that made me go okay this is cool yeah and also like that just shows that i'm unfortunately still a dude who's like where the fuck i don't understand why sh- where's somebody else at why is it just her yeah like there's that, there, still there is that the, yeah. stupid like underlying thing yeah. in my brain that's like doesn't see past that all the yeah. time yeah so it was like kind of like a um uh, you know, like a, a, wa- a humble, a woke, yeah, a woke, woke moment, a humbleness yeah, moment of me being like, oh, uh, yeah. okay, I can, you know. Maybe I, I, maybe I kind of get it. Okay. Maybe I understand the far right. <laughs> no, I can, I can vibe with them. Um, but yeah, it was just like, I I was glad that I that I figured that out. Yeah. And again, uh, once again, it's just, it's not, I'm not the term, term demographic. He's the, he's the Terminator. I'm the Terminator. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, moving on from the Super Bowl, anything else from you from the Super Bowl? No, I don't have anything else to talk about. I at all, not at all. Um, Gavin, set up this next thing. No, I don't want to talk about that actually. Oh, really? I thought about it. That. Okay, that's yeah. fine. I need to restart the camera, so that was going to be my excuse to get up and restart Perfect. the camera. So I'm going to do that real quick. Go restart the camera. <laughs> no, there was this Twitter personality that had uh, that uh, was controversial at best, uh, but he had some really good like uh, tweets. Uh, and he was a domestic abuser and got shot and killed because he charged a cop with a knife. So it just sounded like a crazy. Yeah, story. it sounded and crazy. I get why but you don't want to? Yeah, but it's like sure. there's more and more has come out that like he is just kind of a crazy person. So yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with. Uh, uh, let me just say this much: is that yeah. if you have an if you have an issue, if you have a problem of addiction, or um you know, violent tendencies, there are places for you to get help to not to decompress. There's, there's de-stressors. You can go to therapy. There's other things you can do other than take it down on your loved ones. Yeah. So, yeah. And I think I, I don't know the full extent of this story. I, I only dug into a little bit after you put this stuff in here, but I, like you said, obviously get help. And I think, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong on any of this, please, because, yeah. again, I don't know enough about everything that surrounds this, but it, it just sounds like it's an inex- inexcusable, the stuff that he is, is you know, being claimed to have done or yeah. claimed to have said or the way he's acted. But also, it just really sounds like a case of mental illness. Yeah, again, no, that's, that's what I mean. That's, is that like- you know, his problem that he needed to get help. Where the people around him needed to push him to get help, which they probably did. Yeah, they like. definitely did. I know that much. Okay, good. And it's just a sad story all yeah. around because it's just like, yeah, I mean, it's just so sad. And it's like sad that he died. It's sad that it had to lead to that. Yeah. It's sad that now all these people had to be affected by his actions yeah. before. People, dun- people were dunking on him on Twitter because he made some really dumb tweets in the past. He had a history of tweeting uh, like racist things. I didn't know about it, but right. he has said the n-word in the past and also used slurs inappropriately right. and more and more recently had recently used when i found out so i was like oh okay so i followed him a while ago like a long time ago so it's just like yeah. you know you don't see everything everybody posts especially if this oh. dude posts all the time so and and there's nothing wrong with finding this person yeah that you thought he was funny yeah at the time. i didn't know i didn't know I, there's him, so. so many i went to his account and just saw countless people that i liking that I yeah follow a lot of people are, follow them so right and it's so it's like you were obviously not in the minority yeah. of not realizing yeah. any of that stuff no, was going on absolutely not. so yeah i mean it's just it, it, it just sounds weird, like a super weird, sad situation weird story and obviously our heart goes out to 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 everybody his, in his 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 family his yeah. family his he's had two kids one yeah kid, he had, like I think. he had twins um and yeah, it's just a horrible situation for them mostly because of obviously what happened before, but now after dealing with this just horrible, horrible situation that yeah. ended in such a terrible way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 
Yeah. And it was else? just very shocking to see that. Like, yeah. I just like got home from class and scrolling Twitter and someone posted that. I'm like, wow. Right. Okay. All right. Cool. I guess I'll dig into this. So, yeah. moving on to our next topic. Yes. So, this is something that we kind of briefly. It's been on the docket for a couple weeks. Yes. It's, it was a. We, I'm not going to spoil anything here, but we had someone over earlier and we're filming something very fun. That's all I'm going to say. And we brought this up. And I had said that this was a thought that I had a couple weeks ago in the gym that just made me like, just brought back so many memories and it like made me laugh, like just thinking about all of it. And that is boils down to puking in class. I think everybody out there probably has a story or a memory of someone or themselves puking in school puking in a class experiencing someone puking somewhere and i was thinking about it because i'm like why why was it so weird why was it like the biggest deal in the world when someone threw up in class yeah i remember uh it was just like it would go very quiet like it was yeah like, oh you, you can like there there is nothing that will quiet a a class more than someone throwing up. Yeah. Like I can, I'll tell my story in a minute, but the story, the only time I had ever seen someone throw up in a class that I was in, like I can remember just how quiet it got after. Mm. Like, it's like such a memory. And I just remember just like this weird, like feeling like, right. I, it's such a vivid memory in my head. And it was like fifth or sixth grade when it happened. My uh, most pertinent one I remember. You said you you yeah, your story it. sounds crazy. I found I remember uh, one day I think I was coming back from like one of our extracurricular classes or I don't remember what I was coming from, but or maybe it was coming from lunch or uh, recess or I don't know. But um, I was coming back to the classroom by myself, as far as I know, and I was coming back and my locker was open and I was like, "What happened?" and so I was like, "Oh yeah, he puked in your he puked he puked in your locker. Your stuff's fine, but he just puked in your locker." And they were like cleaning it up and stuff like that. And I'm like, "So like the second half of my uh, school year, my locker smelled like antiseptic." Okay, why? First of all, why was your locker open if you didn't open it? Well, because we got part we had partners like locker partners. Oh right. Yeah. So like all I of his stuff. About that. And before it. The cat, he had a cat and it used to pee on his stuff. So, like, it smelled like cat pee. Mm-hmm. Um, and then after that, they cleaned it and so it didn't smell like cat pee anymore, but it also had, you know, he had puked in it. And then he puked. Yeah, it. I think he was like going home. He was like grabbing his stuff to go home. And he just puked. Oh my God. Yeah. So I feel, you know, I feel bad for him, but it was so like, it was like, what the hell is going on here? Right. Or like, oh, okay, that's cool. As long as my stuff's fine, I'm, I'm good. Right. So, like, those were, I remember, like, kind of divided, weren't they? Like, it was, like, the lockers were, like, not, like... F- not, like, actual halves. They yeah. were, like, tall. They were tall, and you had hooks on either side. Right, and that's how it was. Yeah, so, so like, you- I had, like, a left side, he had right side or something like that. And, and then he put some stuff down at the bottom. And that's where you think the puke went. Yeah, that's where it went, yeah, for sure. Okay. that That's so weird. And to just, like, I, I mean, I could have I could see myself as a kid being, like, well, I I'm gonna puke. Yeah. I don't want to do it in the hallway, so yeah. I guess we'll just do it in, in my, here. Yeah, yeah. I forgot all about the 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 shared lockers thing. Yeah, it was totally shared lockers. Yeah, we especially would, in that hallway. Yeah, we would have to share. What what grades did you say it was in? It was fifth grade. Yeah, fifth grade. There wasn't enough lockers in our middle school that each kid had to share a locker with another person. And it yeah, was not up to you who it was. Yeah, at all. I don't even remember who the person was that I shared it with. I don't think I ever knew who it, knew. It I have it confused on the who to two I had, so I don't really know if it who it was. So you had two different. I don't know if I had two different oh. ones or what, <laughs> but it's, like it's same person same, playing himself. I don't know. Doppelganger. So it was. Uh, I'm trying. I think there was one time where we were in the computer lab at our elementary school and someone had puked. Mm-hmm. Remember that was like it was like in the corner of the classroom, and I just remember being like kind of near the door and being like oh <laughs> okay well uh, oh well, that's crazy time to go to my typing class right D- but do you Home remember row. it like vividly like no i don't really remember that okay. it was like it was like third grade or something like that 
So you've experienced two pukes. I think so. Maybe pro- probably more, but as far as I know, just those two. Okay. So mine happened in, I remember it was at Hardin, which was our middle school. So I think it, or it had to be seventh. And it was my, um, my uh, not English, what was it called? Communication arts? Yeah. Is that what it was called? Yeah. Um, and we... You were on the purple team, right? Sure. I don't, I don't really remember, but I think so. Yeah. That sounds right. Um, the thunder? Yeah. Purple thunder? It was the... Uh, purple thunder. The stupid Yeah, it was... Uh, they tried not to... Uh, we had teams of, like, four teachers mm-hmm. that we would rotate throughout the day, and uh, the teams were basically divided into yep. smart, medium, and dumb. Mm-hmm. I there, was the but they team. would sprinkle in some smart kids into some of the other one. Yeah, you for sure. No, I was. I swear to God. Uh, yeah. Okay, buddy. I made some a cum laude in college. There you go. High school. Whatever yeah. It was. Uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, so they would sprinkle in smart people every once in a while into these yeah. like dumber teams. But there was definitely like an overwhelming amount of smart people in some of these other teams. Like which was, was the one you were on? You yeah, were on the smart team. I was on the uh, I know, Red sure Vipers. I was on the Vipers. Yeah, and that was. Uh, and like the 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 dumber teams. Uh, I was on also. Both they teams. didn't have. Uh, yeah, that's kind of seems like a pattern to me. But <laughs> dude, I'm uh, not. I <laughs> did really well at school. Uh, uh, so there was. I, I know that like we were learning like pre algebra or algebra one, and I know that you guys were probably still learning some other stuff. <laughs> See, it's so because fu- you're it, right. It's like yeah, it was like pretty it's obvious. obvious. Like, yeah. Like, this teacher was literally teaching us pre-algebra. I think you guys were literally learning, like, you know, variables or something. Yeah. You know, like... Because that's, that's so funny. It's funny because, like, I remember... I remember later on in that year of seventh grade realizing and everybody coming to the realization that, oh, these teams are split up amongst, like, smart people and dumb people. And it was, like, so obvious because, like like you said, it was, like, why are those people learning a different math yeah. class than we are. I, I I know that we all had like very similar histories too. I think we yeah. have very similar history and then, then communication math. arts, but math was like the big difference. Yeah. Um, I remember passing out in seventh grade cause we were talking about like someone's kid, like the teacher's kid hitting puberty early and like having to go yeah. in for like injections and infusions. And like that bugged me the fuck out. Mm. So I remember having to get like wheelchaired out <laughs> and like taken home and my mom picked me up. I remember that. Did you pass out in class? No, but I was like blacking left, out, right, and like looked pale. So mm-hmm. they were like, "Oh my god, get a nurse up here." I'm what sure other nice. people remember that, but um, and I was on the dumb team. Yeah, yeah. So and then I remember uh, in eighth grade, I was still on. I was on the uh, well, on Twisters. Yeah, I was on the Rainbow Team. What were you in? It was green. Uh. I don't, I don't remember what the green one was. I forgot. Honestly, I completely forgot. I keep wanting to say grasshoppers, but that couldn't have been it. It it might have been. I don't know. I think I have that yearbook that we can pull up. Yeah. But anyways, you were on the smart team. I was on the smart team, and uh, it was it was weird because they had seventh grade on top and eighth grade on bottom. That yeah. was, was kind of weird to me. But but weren't you on? Weren't you like the only seventh grade team that was on the bottom floor or something? Or maybe I was the only eighth grade team that was on the top floor. Yeah, that's because yeah, there that's was right. one that yeah, was. Yeah, there was one that yeah. was upstairs. The dumb yeah, one. The dumb one. Yeah. Of course. Next to the seventh graders because they didn't really have to go that far <laughs> mentally. <laughs> it would have been a big yeah. upset for them if they had to go. To right. The, yeah. Of course, it's too hard. Yeah. Um, I remember in computer lab yeah. once the teacher just straight up did not show up for like an entire period. <laughs> I remember being what in there the and being fuck? like, "Where? What do we do?" And uh-huh. they like they just brought in another teacher and like she's gonna like. She's going to show you some stuff for today, all right? Oh, my God. And I, I remember being like, what the hell is going on? We had a guy who was like a detective. Come, I think he was a substitute teacher, but before he was a substitute teacher, yeah. he came and talked to us. Yeah. And I just remember being like, we're in computer lab. What does this have to do with yep. computer lab stuff? Substitute teachers are always so fucking weird. There was the consistent ones, but there was always the weird ones that would come in every once in a while. Well, even the consistent ones, it was like they would tell... There was always those kids, the fucking ass kissers, 
that would just like want those teachers to talk about their lives. Yeah. And, and those subs yeah. would almost be like bragging about yeah. it. Oh yeah, no. And I it was like, dude, you're a fucking that. sub. Yeah. You're, oh yeah, no, you're I'm old. Like yeah. just go home and die yeah. at home. I remember there was there was that guy who subbed for band for a while. Uh who always oh. he would always sub in. It was he yeah. was a detective guy. He always subbed in and always told stories about stuff. Oh god. That was like nightmare fuel for me. Like I hate so that funny. Shit. So goofy. So may I tell my puke story now? Sure, sorry. No, you're fine. Uh so d- dumb class, of course. Or dumb I was in my dumb class on my dumb team. And with your dumb friends. With my dumb friends and a dumb teacher. And the classroom was set up in a way that, like, we didn't have desks in this particular class. They were, were like, w- because you're dumb. We had, like, big tables. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was, like, I, I, for, for some reason, I remember them being, like, weirdly, like, oblong shapes, you know, because we're dumb. And um, No sharp sides. On right. No, of course not. And we'd all, like, we had different tables. And I was, I just remember that I was at the table right next to the table where this kid puked. Mm-hmm. And I remember we were learning about something up on the screen and like, you know, like normal classroom sounds happening while we're learning. And then I just remember this kid, he was a guy, was, I remember him saying that he wasn't feeling good. I remember just him looking like he wasn't feeling good. And then just in the middle of the teacher teaching, he just like pukes so much onto the ground and i remember <laughs> it vividly being like crystal clear with like bubbles you know because you got yeah. bubbles but it was like a lot of cle- water yeah it was just a lot of clear liquid and it was just so much coming out and it was just he was like, trying to make weight I, I guess he was he was an athlete i'll tell you who it was later but there was just so much puke and it was so it was dead silent nobody said anything nobody he had friends around him. Nobody was trying to comfort him. That was the other thing, too, is, like, why is nobody, like, helping the nurse out? nurse was right down below you, too. Yeah, I think so. And it, it, I just remember being, like, thinking back on it, being like, why didn't we, like, help? Why weren't <laughs> we, like, oh, no, are you okay, man? Is everything all right? You know, like, oh, I'll walk you down. The like, nobody, nobody, everybody was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, it was such a big deal. And, like, oh, we no. all knew later on that we were going to be talking about it in the lunchroom. Yeah. But it's like, why? Why was it so weird? It's just puke. Like, why was it, like, the biggest deal in the world? Oh, God. You ruined the field. Oh, no. oh you fucking damn, suck. Damn, you really fucked the vibe, man. <laughs> that was weird. It was awful, dude. It did feel like there's a part of me that was, like, kind of felt, like, <laughs> good about it because he was this, like, athletic, yeah. kind of a cocky Gawk. dick yeah. kid. Um, So that part of it, to me, was funny. But, like, I don't ever remember him talking about it afterwards. But, like... It was all. I just remember it always being a big deal. If somebody puked. Yeah. Every time, and and that yeah. the janitor would come in and just like the teacher would try to maintain like right. composure while the janitor was mopping it up. Yeah. He'd be like, all right, everybody, get on this side of the class. Well, just you know, pretend like it's not there. Yeah. We'll, he'll yeah. get the the weird, creepy janitor will yeah. come in and throw sawdust on it. Yep. He'll, he'll, he'll smell like cigarettes for sure. Yeah. He'll just come off of his smoke break. He'll come in and figure he'll, it out. He'll figure it out. Yeah, but I just I I just thought about that and I was just like. I was just like, why was what it so was that? weird? I had another, just another quick, really quick puke experience, not in school, but it was oh. when I was in like elementary school aged. Uh, it was in church. In the, ele- like from, I don't know, like kindergarten to fourth or fifth grade through our Bible school, or not Bible school, yeah, Bible school at church. We would, I say we would have to, but we didn't actually have to. That's just what my parents would say. Volunteer in the uh, Christmas pageant portrayal thing at church that they would do. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. And we would hang a kid on the cross, literally. Yeah. No, it would be the Christmas story of of Baba Yaga coming Uh out and there would be a real live birth. Uh, No, but um, I don't need to go down that road anymore. Um we would we would do this and we would have to we i think we would rehearse like the weekend before and that was it but it was like an i just remember it being like so long like like the whole saturday would be this dress rehearsal and we painful ha- pa- it was Painfully seriously long. oh my god i was miserable and i of course got to play joseph a couple of years so 
Because you could grow a beard back then. <laughs> I could. I had to do infusions because I was <laughs> drop my balls are dropping too early. Um, but we were like either just finishing up or like taking a break from performing. And my bro, this was when my brother Hunter was still in it. <laughs> and, excuse me. Get a little Sorry, gassy tonight. Just, just, yeah. uh, and we were like about to go into the bathroom him and I, together for whatever reason. I don't remember why. And this other kid, who you would also know this person too, which is funny, uh, was a couple years younger than me. And he just like puked. Like it was funny because like Hunter was right behind me and then that other kid was right behind him. I went to the bathroom first. So from the time that I went into the bathroom and the door closed, this kid puked and it got on Hunter's shoe. (laughs) And I remember him coming in the bathroom and he was just like, he was like, did you not see it? And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, blah, 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 just puked. You know, like it's on my shoe. And he was like wiping it off of his shoe. And I was like, I was like, oh, I'm like, I didn't even know that happened. I was like, what the fuck? Who was Hunter in the play? I don't remember that. It, we, it was like every year we'd play somebody else. And I, but here's the thing, Gavin. I always wanted to play Joseph because otherwise I'd have to sing every song. On the we, there was like a little side stage where like oh we have yeah, a little yeah, choir yeah and Joseph because he was in every scene never had to never sing. had to sing he also didn't ever have to say anything so that's what he I always wanted there. to be he was an omni he was an omnipresent person he was he was he like always he was there. like an NPC um, so I know I played Joseph a few times and I also remember once playing a wise baby man. Jesus I played the baby you played baby Jesus I said Papa. Papa. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I Jesus. I Jesus. I remember being a wise man. I remember being a fucking too. newborn and saying, <laughs> I Jesus. I Jesus. And then everybody's like, <gasps> oh my God, is this like a coming of Christ? Is this like a coming of Christ? But yeah, I remember being a wise man. I think Hunter was probably a wise man. Yeah, they've been trying to kill Christ. <sighs> God, don't remind me, dude. They're trying to kill me at that time. He gets us. He gets it. He gets us. Yeah. There's no Scientology commercials either. But um, there's pictures that exist. Of the puke? Look, of the puke, no. Of uh, of of us in with our acting days. Yeah, I'm sure it's uh, sure it's really cute and yeah. not uncomfortable to look at. No, it's pretty cute. I was pretty I was a pretty fat kid. That's why they had you play Joseph, because you had the dad bod. Right. <laughs> They're like, this guy looks like a dad. Yeah, this guy looks like a dad. He's fat enough. Even though I was like, mm, seven, <laughs> eight, whatever. Uh, yeah, anyways, moving on from puke. That's enough puke. Um, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of puke. Let's just... I, Carson, I don't know what the fuck this is, dude. You're going to you're gonna have to explain this. I it, it, We could go real deep, but I, I don't want to run let's too just long. Go. But let's just do it. And I think there's no other way to intro this. I have not opened up the attached thing. You're not allowed to. I made sure you couldn't. Oh, okay, good. Um, I'm just going to intro it by doing this. Gavin. Wow. It's the return of, of the a Jedi. lifetime. Why? I'm trying to, sorry, I'm trying to record my screen. Um, this is a segment that I started a long time ago that. Just goes into detail about something you you found on the yeah, internet one I, day. Yeah, what I do. Or what, what'd you do? what did I do? So wh- what this segment is, in case you don't know, because it doesn't come up very often, is I will find something and show it to Gavin and hope that he has never seen it. And I think I've been I think I've been pretty consistent with stuff that you've never seen before. Uh, nothing I would ever fucking find. Nope. And I'm s- I I will be very surprised if you haven't seen this at all. But yeah. Anyways, I'll, I'll find stuff, and then I just show it to Gavin, and we laugh a lot about it. And this one is uh sorry i'm just making sure this is recording my screen how do i know if it's recording or not oh there's a button up there okay uh this one this one i i did a whole report on this one because it's mostly he was itching to write 
I was. I really was. Last night I was like, no, no, no. I, felt, I felt like I was back in college again. Um, because this one is, it's mostly a rant. Wow. This one upsets me a little bit. It doesn't really upset me. It mostly annoys me, but we'll say it upsets me for, for the sake of the story. For, for, edu- for uh, education purposes. For edging purposes. Yeah. So, edging. folks, this is all about dump dinners. Gavin, do you have any no, idea? I have no idea what this is. I figured maybe it was like I, I saw a trend a couple of weeks ago of like Scottish people, you know, or people in England, UK, tweeting out pictures of like these meals, oh, these plates of just yeah. fucking food. Munchie box. Yeah, that's what they're called, like munchie boxes or something like that. I remember seeing those, and I thought that that's what this is, but it's not. But it's not actually very similar, though. I I figured it was close, but I I. I, I there's no way I'd be able to predict what the fuck this is about to be. So let's start it off with this. So f- the Food Network dot com defines dump dinners by saying this: Some days you can make a multi course meal, but other times question mark weird place to put a question. But mark. Other times, but other times, it's a hassle to even place an order for takeout. Yeah. Enter the dump dinner. Ordering for takeout is one of the hardest things. So ever. hard. Yeah. If you're unfamiliar, dump dinners are exactly what they sound like. Dump all the ingredients into a casserole dish, slow cooker, sheet pan, and pot, or pot, and dinner is just about done. But guess what, Gavin? That's incorrect. That's not what a dump dinner is. That's just describing a casserole. That is not a dump dinner. I'm going to show you what a dump dinner is, and, and you will see what I mean about a dump dinner. I can't wait. Here's the first video. I have to mute it. So this says, I'm going to show it on the screen. How, how I, I feed, feed my, my 14 boys. Now, if you're listening, this mom has dumped spaghetti onto their dinner table. Tin foil. With just on tin foil. Almost in a pig-like trough yeah. for her 14 boys to eat. Not 14 boys, but 14, 14 boys. boys. So it just goes on with her pouring miscellaneous mystery ingredients onto this it's table. It's spaghetti. It's spaghetti. And um And I mean I mean I guess like I think you can know what happens next. I was going to say like I can Whoa. Garlic bread. Okay, I was like what is that? I mean and it they, looks And they and they eat up. Do they make oinking noises while they're doing it? I hope so. Now here's another one. This one's one of my favorites. Now before I say anything else any of them that have kids, I'm going to try and blur out their faces or crop them out, or I might not just show them on screen altogether. Obviously, these parents can choose to show their kids if they want. I'm not a huge fan of that, but I'm not going to show somebody's kids on our show because that's just kind of weird. Yeah. Now, I don't Oops, I don't want to um, ruin it, but there is an insane sound in this video. So here's another dump dinner video from Viral Hog. Who's taking table. pictures? Do you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that sound crazy? <laughs> it's the dad. There's some spaghetti sauce. Why is he taking pictures? What do you think? Now this one is just <laughs> on <laughs> the tablecloth. This is not on tin foil. It's hot. It's hot, mommy. Um, hey, meatballs. Are Keep rolling right at me. Doesn't this make you hungry? <laughs> Actually, it kind of does, but I would never fucking put that on my what? table. What my table's that? never clean enough for that. But isn't it so quirky? Isn't it so quirky that they're eating dinner on the table? I mean, like, I guess if you're lazy enough to not want to fucking clean a plate after you're done eating it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You guys ready okay. for dinner tonight? <laughs> So what I've noticed here is that uh-huh. it's like a trend to like scare the shit out of your children with this. Yeah. Where it's, it's like f- you're like, oh, are you guys ready to eat something good? Act like you're going to give them a plate and just pour the fucking fucking thing on the table. Is that where you're going with this rant? Uh, That's part of it. Okay. Now this one is just saran wrap on the table. Uh, that's a l- uh, I'm sure if the plastic is not disintegrating. Thick enough? Yeah. No, I'm sure it's not like disintegrating or melting into the right. spaghetti at all. Oh no! Why is it always spaghetti? 
well, that's part of the trend is people really like doing with spaghetti. But what does spaghetti doesn't make it any better in my opinion? Now this family is my favorite. Oh my god, you have like five, six <laughs> we examples don't have to go there. Through all of them, but oh, do I they got just more than that. do that every night? Is that like an every night thing? For so this I think this family I'm about to show you does. Now the thing that's really funny to me about it is this family pretty much only does fast food and takeout dinner dumps. Oh no! Which is completely pointless because. Those already have containers you can eat out of. Love, yeah. So without and saying anything else, I think we should just watch it. And now, put sauce in like the other half of it. Like there's, you don't have to dump it on the fucking table. Right. Now I'm going to have to Be move this up. one because there's Drake music, but this is dump dinner Chick-fil-A style. Once again, removing the food from the containers that they're already Wow. Eating. You found this in only has 18 likes. Oh, they get way more than that. This is just. I'm no, I'm saying like you found like some niche ones. These people aren't niche. This is just a repost, which I'll get oh, to okay. in a minute. It might seem that way, and I pre- I appreciate you validating that I was on me. Say, like, but that's a there's a block of mac and cheese, but yeah, you know, let's just put all the food on the table and eat it off of there. Why the way not? that the way that God intended. The way that God wanted us to. Now here's another one from that same family, just to show you that they probably do it every single night. They're uh, constant offenders. <laughs> this one is dumped in or sushi style. Now he is God removing. Damn it food from a plas a a a foam takeout container this is the one that fucked me up scraping the sushi out of the container in this crazy way because we have to eat it off the table the thing is that it's like it's it's different if like you were to set out everything like in those but taking them out of the thing that people spent time and effort into putting into the box yeah, because that wouldn't it, that that wouldn't be the trend, Gavin. It's it's you're supposed to dump everything on a table. Is, it, is this it. like legitimately like a trend? Uh, did you see how many clips I have? Do you do you do you want me to? But you, I don't, do you need to prove that to you that it's a trend? Is this like are you on mommy TikTok or some shit? Like POV, what? it's your family's first dump dinner. Oh wait, hold on, play the audio for this one. Oh, uh, it's got music in it. Fuck, sorry. Let's find. We'll find another one with audio. So we're back to spaghetti again, though. Because I wanted to hear the children's reactions. Because it's like even children know this is weird. <laughs> Well, this, this one you'll get a reaction. <laughs> this one's got grandparents in it. Grab a fork and dig it. That kid's out of there. Uh, that's good. But this one is like obviously like they knew what was gonna happen. Yeah, I was gonna say that one's scripted. Now just just act like you're surprised by it though, okay, Braylon? Oh, this one was a good one, too. Oops, I got to mute it. (laughs) This is Family Dump Dinner Meal Part 2, Cobb Salad. Now, this one's on, like, paper What is the fucking point of doing a salad like that? I don't, I don't, I don't know. But clean clean up is is so easy. Keep that in mind. Clean up is so easy. Okay, but I guess no leftovers ever, then? I'm going to get to that, too. That's a great, you're hitting all the points I I was hoping you'd hit. So, like, no leftovers with that? So, like, you're just going to, like, fucking throw all that shit away if they don't need it? Dump dinner TikTok trend, no dishes. This I mean, one the is taco, a taco bar. Taco makes a little. Does it? In because my why is there beans slopped on the table like now, that? Now, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing with this one is that the beans, right? The beans should be at least in a container because, like, that shit is gonna seep through whatever you put on the table. You right. know, that's that stuff is um, radioactive. Yeah, I know because I'm a bean guy. Um. And like it's the beans are kind of greasy too. And these are refried. These are yeah, smash refried. Yeah, beans. I was gonna say these are not. But this black makes beans. this makes sense a little bit more sense. But I wouldn't put the meat on the table. I wouldn't put the lettuce on the table. I wouldn't put. But it just makes sense because it's like oh, this is kind of like what it is anyway. But like on uh, like out of the containers. But why does it? <laughs> why did wait? Okay, I'm not laughing about what you said. Yeah. Why does it make more sense? Why does it, it make just more sense like you get the to, spaghetti one? The spaghetti one is just like you have to reach to the middle of the table to get it. Right. Like that, like keep scooping in your mouth from the middle of the table. But that's the point of the dump dinner. This is just but, like but, a taco bar without saying, the dishes. Yeah, I know what I'm saying like this is a taco bar because that means like you can just kind of like reach around and then bring it to a plate. Like you don't necessarily – or like the plate is your taco. So it's like the, okay. you could put it okay. in – you know, like your, so like you, you're putting it in your hand and you're – It'd be different that's if your like plate. yeah, that'd be your plate. So like right. it's that makes a little bit more sense with this. But and you're and you're right. You don't have to have the a, taco. You don't have I to think have the taco plate. thing is a little bit different. Yeah. I like it. You don't have to have a plate for shells. You don't have to plate for lettuce. Now, if I show to a party and someone has it like this, I'd be like, "What the flying fuck is going I, on?" here? I would leave. I think the 
Because like, like cause why look, would you just look? You got sauce, you got guac in a dish. Everything else is not in a dish, including the beans that should definitely, definitely be, be in, in a, a bit, dish yeah, because least, it is slopped least, in the least. center and expand it out. And the they just need to be in a different order. Oh yeah, it yeah you're right. It's like w- w- yeah, I totally I'm totally with you on because that. in my opinion I think you need to start a the, with with a taco or a burrito. You need to st- right. Oh sorry. Yeah. You need to you need to um wow that's great. Out the viral dump dinner to surprise my family. I covered my table in full. American Patrol in the back. It was no way, I'm sorry. It's so in the fun. mood. Trying out the viral dump dinner. Viral dump dinner. Dump dinner. I think there's just yeah, there's just one more, and then we'll go and then we'll go into my analysis. Okay. So here's another one. Oh, dump this dinner. one fucked me up. Oh, sorry. There's music. Hungry and love dump dinner. So we got mashed potatoes. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. I don't. Spreading it out's a little bit. Uh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> now these Never are mind. just adults. There are no kids in this one. These are adults eating beef stew. Two forks, by the way, with this. There's yep. two forks instead of... Because yeah. if they had a plate, they wouldn't need the second fork. <laughs> They're eating be- uh, mashed potatoes with beef stew smothered on top of it um, and having a glass of wine. She made a bowl out of the mashed potatoes there. Yeah, I was about to say, what's the point? She already has the bowl. She already put every... Look, she- they're already all in dishes. Did you notice that? Yeah. They're all in. They're not in what they were cooked in. Carson, I don't know what the fuck you stumbled upon, dude, but this is terrible. This one, I didn't even think through this one. This one this is, is crazy this is to me. Wa- this is wasteful. This is way more wasteful than it needs to be. It is because it's like it, it's it's completely because they're the, the, like I said, it's not the dishes they even cook them in. That, she's that's, pulling it she out. Cooked of the, it in you, that one. You could ki- you can keep it in that. You could keep it in that. Whatever you, she's pulling it out. You absolutely of. could and serve. You it can up. keep that's it in that. Not what it was. You could keep in. it in that. Both of those were not what they were cooked in for sure. Because those did, are just did you want a fucking place? Dude. And what about the wine? Put that on the table. Might as well slurp it off the table. But this pig. one fucks me up because it's adults. Like it, it's yeah. like the kid part the of kid, it. And they, we'll get into it, my it, analysis it now. Brings a charm. Yeah, the kid, the kids doing it makes sense. Having the kids there doing it for the kids makes sense. For the kids. For the kids. So my findings, Gavin. Almost all of these videos, and I'm not exaggerating when I say this, and uh-huh. you saw that for your own eyes. Yeah are reposted by other accounts. Yeah, what is that about? Only a few of those were posted by the original person. And like you said, a lot well, of those were like Did they get publicly like shamed into like... dives. Did they get publicly shamed into deleting it no. and being like, hey, someone else reposted this? It's just this trend that gets crazy likes. People are like... Stupid s- shit that like... These, it's almost enforced. Right. These it's viral like, hog accounts <laughs> are, are taking it and reposting it. They're like, this and needs so, to be a thing. I have an example here. I, I'm not going to play the video because it's got kids in it and it's got music and it's just like, it, it's just the same as what we saw. It's just different. But for some reason, scrolling through Instagram after typing in dump dinner, I saw this video every other video really? was the same one. Reposted by different accounts. And so a lot of them, a lot of the reposted ones would say something along the lines of, would you try this? Would you try this? Is this something you would try with your kid? Would you try this? You know, you know that like stupid marketing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. online marketing yeah. thing. Yeah, no, being, I know like, exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, like that stupid post I sent yeah. last night, which was I got to pull it up because it it made me. La- it it's so funny because it's like, it's just broken English. Yeah, <laughs> is all it boils down to. But it it was this this repost of course, of of somebody who works at Popeyes, closing and being able to take leftovers home. That's yeah. the whole premise of the yeah. video. It's fucking yeah. pointless. And the, the caption says, says, just imagine how many food would you take? So it was like they combined two sentences there. Yeah. It was probably written by an AI. Because, I mean, like, this is just a shit post account that, that posts. Repost popular videos. Exactly. And, it, like, that's a whole nother deep dive. But, like, th- so this one, this is the, this I'm not, is like I said, I'm not going to show you the video. But this, this is, is the video a screenshot. Came, yeah. yeah. This is a screenshot of the video I kept getting over and over again. So this one's crazy. I didn't even realize this when I took the screenshot, how many layers deep this is. So this was reposted by somebody named Paula Ferris, ver- okay. verified. And it says, of course, would you do this for dinner? Yay or nay? 
Hashtag dump dinner. Here we go. Hashtag repost at parents with at use reposts. So this Paula Ferris person. It's all she count. Yeah, reposted it from this at parents account, which I did see at parents post it when I was scrolling through. Now, here's the thing. At parents is not the original person who posted it. Yeah, I figured that much. Down below that hashtag repost line is three dots followed by have you ever have you tried a hashtag dump dinner we're sold via at home of the harveys which home of the harveys was the original person who posted so they reposted a repost and kept this caption from the old one it was three actually i think it might have been up to four reposts deep that it it finally got to paula ferris reposting it wow why why is that a thing why are why do so why why do people need to steal other people's shit and of something so fucking stupid? Like it's just, that's just dumb. The way, that's that's uh that's online media right now. It's so it's it blows my mind. I, I really I think that this. Get it. I, I really feel like it was kind of uh, taken out of proportion, especially during TikTok. Um, this was this has been a frustrating thing that I've always had with TikTok, where someone mm-hmm. uses an audio a very old audio and then makes a new video with it and then they get as many likes or if not more than the original video and then everybody's acting like this person made that audio and it's really frustrating because it's like these people did not make this audio they're not original this isn't funny because it's not original and yep. people try to pass it off as their own all the time yep. uh it's a little bit different because they're using a repost app but yeah um it's still like it's I, still the I, trend I, it's still the same thing. I like posting like you said, account, they're all fucking spaghetti videos. Posting on your own account too is like really weird. Like what that, do you mean by that? Like if this is a family post, right? Family yeah. posting it. Yep. This one and then the viral there. post, then the viral it went viral on parents or whatever. At parents, yeah. It's weird to me to not go back to the original and repost it, but it's also right. just go. It's just weird to repost something on your own. In account, general, uh, repost something in general on your own account, and I understand like the reach and stuff like that. But like, I don't think there's th- going to be that many people that are going to be checking out the fall the no. accounts that you repost no. like ever. No, that's the thing is nobody. People are aimlessly scrolling and they see this video and they like it. I guarantee that home of the Harveys might have gotten like two, three. Like I, uh, you know, let's be generous here. Maybe a hundred follows from this repost that has um, almost three thousand likes on it. Yeah, that just this because repost, they had just to go the through, Paula Ferris. Yeah, repost. I was gonna say because they had to go through three accounts to get there. Right, but it's like it's all the way at the bottom that yeah. they're meant. Like it's literally the last line yeah, is there. It should have been the first. The, exactly. It, well, it shouldn't even been there at all. Like just post it on your story and be like, check or, this thing out. Yeah, this that's what I was gonna say. Is like, like you said, go story, to the original post. Yeah, posting on your story is like way more reasonable than right. posting on your own account. Like, like, like that's like literally making a whole nother post, like posting a whole nother picture right. of someone else on your profile and being like, what do you guys think of this? You're reposting it from somebody else who didn't even post in the first place right. and then you're crediting them because that's where you saw it so right. you can repost it. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's just so st- fucking weird and stupid. That's, that's Instagram Reels in a nutshell. Very much so. Right. And then I was I wanted to get back to your TikTok comment because I th- that is for sure my TikTok biggest gripe with TikTok. Absolutely fucking blows. If you find a video, I always anytime I see something funny and I'm like, oh, this is actually kind of funny. Um, I go to the audio and it'll be like original video. I'm like, oh, this is completely unrelated. Right. Well, and that's the thing is is like it, that's my biggest gripe with TikTok, if you've ever wanted to know. It is because it's just I, I have no interest, and it's fine. You know, I, I, I this isn't this isn't a blanket. This is statement. a dig for me. No, it's not. Dig a, at me. It's not. I was gonna say it's not a dig on you, and it and it's not a blanket statement because it's not all this. But I I have no interest in going on an app where ninety percent of the content is just people doing the same fucking thing because somebody else got popular doing it. Yeah, and that's why I fucking hate TikTok is because it it gives everybody a chance to be viral or get their stuff seen. Right. Every person I know who are fucking not trying to be offensive here, but fucking nobodies are getting like thousands of plays on their stuff. Sometimes thousands of likes on stuff. And it's 90% of it's just something that somebody else already fucking did. Right. And then they think they're king shit of fuck mountain. They did it a little bit, a little bit differently. Right. And they think they're, King should have fucked Mountain because they got it's the these same views. thing and with uh, YouTube Shorts too. 
Yeah, I've to seen, a lesser I've seen, extent. But I've seen yeah. like reposts of people's. Oh, I, for sure. I get. I only basically get reposts of people I follow. Mm-hmm. It's really weird where it's like I get reposts of their stuff from other accounts. Right, right. And I'm like, right. why do you have it linked? Why do you not have it linked at all? Right. And it, like uh, on YouTube, they do not give credit. They literally just steal oh, the people's video and then take money from them. Because YouTube doesn't. Yeah, they don't and care. TikTok the same way. Yeah. Like there's no restrictions yeah. there. But yeah, I mean, like it, that's why I hate TikTok. It's because it's just like, and and listen, like obviously I'm being a little cynical and I'm being a little bit harsh here. Because I'm also at the same time like, those people are. You're usually, just jealous because you're not getting those views, Garth. You're right. The, I, it's fine because those people let them have their thing, let them right. do their thing. I don't They're need to worry Carson. about it. Fuck exactly, you. they are. They're happy doing the same shit that everybody's doing and blending in with the crowd. Right. Whatever. Do your thing, but I just I don't I don't give a fuck about it at all. Yeah. Because it's just it's it's not interesting to me at all. To see people doing the same thing over. Why? Well, why not? You ever scroll the TikTok you. audio? Oh my god, that's so annoying. No, there's no way I could. Oh god, that's that's a cesspool. Well, and like I always think about like because it's the same sound that starts replaying right. every time, but it's still like people doing the exact same thing. I I think about the extremely viral audio clip of Tim Heidecker mm. from on Cinema saying, "So I'm addicted to this." Yeah. Like, it's not a medical thing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that is used. Like, the amount, and I think Tim brought this up at one point, but the amount of views that that has gotten, especially at this point, because it's still being used to this day, the amount of views and probably money that people have made off of that audio on so many different facets and so many different outlets. Yeah. Like, it's at probably at this point, probably more than what On Cinema has made in the past 10 years. Oh, yeah, for sure. And like you know, it's sad to say. I hate saying that, but, but like, like that's that's, that's probably the, just that's the a case. Mar- that's like the market there, right? And that's, that's still just is. reusing something someone else yeah, did. And like t- obviously, Tim doesn't give a fuck. Like yeah. he's doing way cooler shit, and he's just like, you know, somebody might see that and find out where it came from, and that's or cool because that's a little know. bit, ex- or they'll never know, and that's whatever. Like he doesn't care about it, but like to me, like that just makes me mad because it's like it's so stupid. Like there was this just guy like, who like intentionally dumb. a lot. The other thing is that people also intentionally try to make like viral audios on there where like people will come and be like, ah, we caught you trying to make an audio where they're intentionally vague so that oh you can apply God. it to other other audios I and like, know situations. That. Yeah. Like someone's like, ah, they tried making it a trend or something oh like that. God. So like there's they people get caught trying to do it, but like still right. it's like it, the people who get it happen to them is. Uh, it's weird because like you can just claim an audio as your own after mm-hmm. someone else made it, which is bizarre. Right. I don't know how right. I I have accidentally done that before, where like I will make I will accidentally make a video and it will say it's my audio. Right. Well, that's not your fault. That's, no, I'm that's just saying like, that's TikTok. Fault. I'm just saying that that's TikTok. Is that right. like that's the way it works? Yeah. They don't care. It, it's it's uh, it, it drives me. But crazy. back to the yeah. Sorry, I, I that that led me down a tangent, and I'm which I'm glad we went down because it ties into a lot of stuff that I said, but. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of how much deeper I want to go into this. Um, the other thing I was going to say is is to validate some of these points, uh, uh counterpoints. Um, people get very defensive about dump dinners. I scrolled through some of the comments on some of the really viral viral posts. Yeah, and half of it is people being like, "What the fuck is this?" And half of the people being like, "Oh my god, I can't wait to try this." And so I saw one that was a highly liked probably even a pinned comment that said like you know something along the lines of like it's just people having fun with how they eat like you don't need to judge them like yada 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 and again that kind of gets back to the point of like what i said about the tiktok thing and it's like if they're having fun that's fine let them have their fun thing like it's not affecting me i i'm bringing it up because i find it really stupid i just think it's a really dumb thing and it just like leads into my like my like hatred of trends but it's like it's ridiculous what they're doing. Like they're pouring food on a table. Like there's no undenying that it's ridiculous. And I think a lot of those people know that. Yeah. But there's obviously tons of people who think that it's the coolest thing in the world. Yeah. And there's like part and of it's it, not necessarily anything unique either, considering no. how many people have done it. But right. Also, it's just like okay. And it and it's like, and it's fun. Like the thing is, is that like it's fun for the kid. The kids have fun. This with is one it. of those things that it's like the, not everybody needs a platform. Right. And that's like the this right. is this is the consequences of having social media, right? For sure, right? And 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 again, it's just like 
it's like finding out people don't wear, like there's people that are like don't wear shoes right yeah. but it's like those people don't need to have a platform and like create right. something that doesn't need to be created right but it's like that's that's you know what tiktok and every other app did is like allowed everybody to have a platform and again it's like you know obviously the hateful people have no place on the fucking on yeah, this like earth you. in general but yeah, like, like you i know no the dump dinner people those are hateful people no, i was kidding hateful towards food um there's people who do not deserve to have a platform, but again, that's just the way things are that we just all have platforms. And I'm not saying the dump dinner people or the trend followers don't have a place because they do. Right? There's a dump dinner right now. Gavin's doing one. Gavin's doing one in the chair, actually. It's a dump, a dump chair dinner. Um, but yeah, uh, like wh- whatever. Like at the end of the day, I don't actually really care at all. Yeah, like it's just, it's still, just stupid. It's a something stupid that you thing. saw and it frustrated right. you. Another thing I found and really funny. I never funny, knew this was a thing. That's crazy. You've on- never seen any of that. No. I, dude, I, I before nev- I started really diving into it, and I'm I on would like get hater these- Twitter. Like, right. I'm on Twitter where like people fucking hate on everything. I was never- talking about it on Twitter. No, that's what I mean is that like right. I only really see that. And I haven't seen anybody say anything on TikTok about it. I didn't see anything on Instagram. I, I'm surprised you didn't send me a clip because like this is fucking ridiculous. Well, I, I, I never, because I don't scroll TikTok. I don't. I do yeah. not scroll TikTok. But I have found myself, especially recently, scrolling instagram reels and not even scrolling them while i find them i will just they'll show like you know you just get to that bar on your feed of instagram that it'll show you a bunch of reels and like i've just like seen them and i'm like what the fuck is going on in this video and i click on it, it's people dumping spaghetti on a fucking table With and foil. then i sit there and i watch it because i'm like what, what is, is this? this and it's yeah. like so awkward and weird and like the families are weird and it's like and so then they just start showing up more and more. And finally, I was just like, I need to like, I need to, I need talk to put to, an end I need to, to this. I need to put an end to it. Um, I need to talk about it. Um, one thing I find really funny is obviously we brought up the fact that it's mostly parents doing it with their kids, which again is great. Like I already mentioned that. But as we saw with that couple, there are older people who are who are doing it. Yeah. And I didn't pull any to show, but there were a lot that were like college people in college like frat dudes frat dudes doing them which is funny because it's supposed to be a trend to do with your kids but yet these like frat dudes are doing it with like you know different pastas and stuff like that and they're doing it on like a coffee table covered in paper and it's just like so funny to think that these like frat dudes are like oh yeah that'd be fucking cool because it's like, you know, frat dudes are basically children who can drink alcohol. Um, and it was just, it's it just funny. So in conclusion, Gavin, I already shared lots of my opinions. What's the point of it? Obviously, people have fun doing it. That's the point. Can't really be a hater on people's fun as long as they're not hurting anybody. Bonnie. Hurting any Bonnie. Now, my opinion is, and you mentioned it, it's pretty gross. It's gross. Yeah, it's kind of gross. There's a level of it that's gross. Not only are you like sharing food with people, luckily most of these people are related. That's kind of gross. And then like the table factor of it, of you just like throwing something on your table and stuff. Now they're covered, but like how sanitary is that still? And then I brought up, which you brought this up, I'm glad you did, was the popular claim that, well, it's so easy to clean up. Which is like, a weird a weird subgenre that started getting pushed along with it that it was like it started as like oh let's just eat spaghetti on the table now because it's funny to like prank my kids like you said and then it turned into like oh no let's actually do it because it's an easy way to clean up it's an easy way to like have dinner you during the week can't guarantee that if you buy a fucking you know uh uh you know cloth dinner cloth right. you can't be guarantee- free that too, but you can't guarantee that like uh, that tablecloth you bought from the do- dollar store is clean out right. of the box because they put out the packaging. Right, the ones that they fold together, they put like a certain I don't know what it is, but they put a certain kind of like almost kind of Sticky, chalky yeah. stuff to do it, yeah. so it doesn't stick together when you yeah. try and unpeel it. Yeah, there's no way that stuff is something you should be consuming because you're supposed to put plates on top of the tablecloth. And so I, the claim that it's like easy to clean up is funny for a million reasons because, like you said, leaking through the table. I've seen in most of the ones that are cleaning up, I can see like a wet sop on the bottom of the tin yeah. foil wrapping that yeah. they have 
because tinfoil rips super easily, obviously. And then like you mentioned, and I'm so glad you did, what about the leftovers? There's no leftovers because you're not like I literally wrote here, scoop them off the fucking table. Like, what are you going to do? Just get a bowl next to the table and scrape it off? Yeah. And then, like, what is I, the point no. of that? You're using a dish now. Yeah. That's the whole point. And it's, so it's like, I'm... I'm and I, if you have a dishwasher, if you don't have a dishwasher, maybe I can excuse this. Paper plates. Maybe I can excuse this. And maybe you're eco-minded. Maybe I can excuse but this. But what's eco-minded about it? Okay. Because you're wasting food. You're yeah. wasting... You're not using paper, paper plates. Paper, tinfoil. Yeah. Let's say you're not using paper plates. Let's say you're not using paper plates. And okay. let's say you don't have a refrigerator too. <laughs> Maybe okay. then I would consider a pass for doing dump dinners on say a nightly, weekly basis. If you're so like off the grid. But I wouldn't sure. expect you to record it and post it anywhere. No, you wouldn't. It, but <laughs> it it's it's def it's there's no way it's environmentally Better no, I not. No, it's such a huge food waste, which I am legitimately like a big advocate for like food waste. Like that is like such a huge thing in our country. Like we were literally just talking about it in our group chat last yeah. night. Yeah, because like, I used to have to. Th- we used to have to throw out any leftovers at Canes. At Canes, yeah, which is so fucked up. I, I guess it was so frustrating because like one time I brought home like thirty tenders because right. I was like, oh, I'll just have some tomorrow for breakfast, right? Or, you know right. what I mean. Uh, and then, like, the the very next week, they're like, oh, yeah, no, you guys can't take any home anymore. And, and it was why? like, It was like, why? okay, well, n- we already cooked it. Right. We're, if someone's going to eat it, it sh- if anyone's going to eat it, it should be us. Right, because what would you have to do with that? It, there's no liability away. anymore because no. it's, like, it's off the premises. Right. And it's my risk I'm taking by reheating the chicken. Did they give you a reason why they didn't? No, they're just like, oh, uh, no, nah, you guys have to, like. It, no. Throw it away. Yeah, throw it away. Just just throw it away after you're done. Like it it's crazy. Like, because it was it became like a tradition where people would drop an unreasonable amount of chicken at the end of the night. So it was like it created waste. Right. Where it was like it created a reason to bring it home, but like after a while it still like we would have like a few tenders here and there and even then be they'd watch back the cameras and see who oh, took sure. it. Sure. So it was just like Which dude, is this so is ridiculous. Fucking insane that p- they give that much of a shit about it. Yeah. It's but like then also it's just chicken. it's so wasteful. Yeah. It's so wasteful. Put it anywhere to use. Right. And anywhere. I don't and I don't think that the, you know, a, a couple thousand people who are going to try dump dinners are adding any sort of, you know, drop in the ocean to the to food waste. Absolutely not. It's just kind of a funny point to bring up with it. Yeah. But there's cuz there's so many other places that are like massive wasters of food. Yeah. Um but yeah, and then I just kind of rounded it off with just like people love to follow trends. Yep. They love doing trends. We already harped on that enough. And that is my my um look at what I found. Look at what I found about dump dinners. Look what I found. 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 Gavin, why don't we skip next door drama this week? Okay. I think we're running a little late here, and I know you want to do your stuff, and I still have to edit this. Yeah. Um, we do have a very fun next door drama, so it's not like I'm, I'm not happily skipping it. But unless you, unless you're no, really wanting to dig no, into it, good. no. I, I, I think tired. that it was, it's for the better that we skip it. But you guys will have a really good one next week. Oh, week after, most likely. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll we'll skip it next week, and let's just should we jump into what we're listening yeah. to real quick? So, um, I I'm a noted Death Grips fan. Uh, so, um, I I was joking with my friends that like I listen to Death Grips all the fucking time, and I don't. I just it's just like it's a guilty pleasure I listen to mm-hmm. every once in a while. But Get Got is like their most popular song. Get 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 got 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 got. I I love it. It's so good. But um. This came on like on the like the suggested songs like radio songs, mm-hmm. uh, while I was driving after listening to Get Got and uh, not necessarily a good song, but it's a song that like makes me feel like a badass whenever I'm driving around. So right. I really like that about this song because it it just makes me feel like uh like like a like a 
not like a race car driver, but you know, like a you know, like uh you know, like whenever you uh, like a Tron bike, you know, like where you have lights coming out Tron. from behind you, where you know it's like super, like you just feel like you're in like the night core, like you know, outrun. If you look up any of this stuff that I'm saying, out outrun or night core, like type of like vaporwave, like driving in the night and like you know sunset palm trees. That's what this song kind of evoked those feelings in me. I felt like a badass when I was driving this to this song. I'm a sucker for horns. Uh, there is no horns in this, but uh, I'm I'm still am a sucker for horns. But this one is uh, I'm also a sucker for uh, synthesizers. This has right. got some like saw waves that are fucking insane. <laughs> Love it. Cool. That that's fun. I'm gonna give it a. Li- I haven't really ever like dived into. They're Death coming this Earth. summer. Are they really? Yeah. Did you see that Black Keys is playing a festival? Yeah, I'm here? going to. Uh, I theoretically oh. could, but I'm going to Chicago for Arctic Monkeys that weekend. Oh. Yeah. What a p- poor weekend plan there. Yeah. I'd rather go see Arctic Monkeys than I think you would do. Yeah. Especially so. with. Three but days. and also it's like ninety dollars for two days, and I'm like, uh, hmm. and that makes uh, sense. Two days. Two days is not, not bad. bad, but it's like I'm not gonna go, and like I don't want to pay ninety dollars to go for one band. Right. Right, uh, outdoors. Right, right. I don't think there was anybody that I had any interest. No, I, uh, in. that, I think it was literally just the Black Keys. So, yeah, that was like the big. The, that was a big headliner. Big, big one. Black big Rose. <laughs> they're okay. No, they're not. <laughs> they're okay. They're I'm not bad, they're, but they're, they're okay. They're fine. Obviously, different opinions. Um, okay, I I am listening to, um, a very a new album, very new album, just came out on Friday by the band Narrowhead. Which oh, I've, yeah. I've mentioned many times. The album finally came out. Moments of Clarity, and Moments of Clarity by Arrowhead, Narrowhead, Narrowhead, Arrowhead Stadium. Um, now I, I'm kind of upset with myself, and and stuff like that because I was very, very excited for this album to come out. Stoked. I was could not wait. I loved everything they had released. Narrowhead, Narrowhead. I was so excited for everything that they had re- released beforehand. So you that hyped I up wait. this album. I did. And then when it came out, I was kind of like not really in the mood for their music anymore, which yeah. sucks because I was so looking forward to it. So it's going to be something that comes back around to me and I, I fall in love with again. Of course, it's really good. It's just not hitting me the way I wanted it to. I find that a lot of times when I get really into a band right before they release an album and I'm listening to the singles over and over again yeah. and I dry myself out to the point where when the album comes out, I don't fucking care about it. Yeah. Which I hope bands start correcting more, but I'm sure they won't. It's all record labels. I shouldn't yeah. even blame it on bands. Um, but either way, this album's still so good and I can't wait to get into it whenever <laughs> I'm like really looking forward to it. Um, Flesh and Solitude, super good. Those last, I would say Flesh and Solitude, the come down, super good. Obviously, Gearhead was the first song that our friend Johnny Hundley showed me. Mm. He actually showed me this band. Shout out, Johnny. Um, I fucking love that. I loved, um, what was the other song I liked? Moments of Clarity, the self-titled song. So good. Again, this is a very good album. I, I kind of explained it as like a, a cross between like hardcore, shoegaze, mostly shoegaze, and like emo. Yeah. It's good. It's It's a very good album. I would recommend you listen to it, Gavin. I yeah. think you'd actually quite enjoy it. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm listening to, man. Let's get out of here now. Doggies. Ooh, a little quiet. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening to the Dog Kinds podcast episode 102. Keep sharing, keep liking, keep keep doing everything you've been doing. Uh, be sure to share and tell your friends. Uh, and uh, we'll be here next week. Yeah, this is a this is a really fun episode, Gavin. I know you're tired oh, the whole sorry. time. Oh, you're fine. I know you're very tired the whole time, but very enjoyable. Yeah. That, that dump dinners talk was yeah. a lot of fun. Insane. And I'm glad you got no idea very that into it with, with me. I was. What is the point? Yeah, exactly. I, I'm glad we could share that. And um, should be something pretty special next week. We shall see. Should be. Look, bye bye.